Hi everybody, I just literally finished setting up this um, sort of dashboard and I thought I would show you. Uh, maybe you find it interesting and helpful, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so this is basically just a dashboard for me to like situate myself in my PhD um, in terms of progress, timeline and things like that. So as you can see I put in a title timeline lots of people ask me how to do these sort of headers and I just use um, Keynote which is Mac's version of PowerPoint I write it there and then I copy it as an image and the same goes for the dividers and all of these headers um, basically are the same so I've divided this into three columns uh, the first one is um, more I don't actually know. Um, <laughs> let me let me just walk you through because I'm not sure this progress overview makes sense. Title makes sense anymore. But anyways, so here I have what day it is today. So this is automatic. It just comes up with um, today's date, and this is just so I can I know. Um, okay, we're in October, but like we're in twenty six, so we're almost finishing the month. So it's just to know what day it is. Then I've got my month. And here I have like a progress bar that shows me how far I am into my PhD. So that means that at 100% it's when I should be submitting my thesis. Um, so yeah, just to have a view of where we are in time in, in terms of the three, the three years. Then at the bottom, um, actually I have to change this. Anyways, let's ignore that for now. Uh, because I did make some changes already. Then here I've got just my tasks. So just to know what's going on in terms of tasks, what I'm doing currently and the things I have to do. And then if I want to see what's on hold, I can just come here and see a few things that are on hold. But um, usually I'll keep it either on ongoing or to do or change between both. Um, so that's the first column. The second one is next six months. So I've got my next six months lined up here. Uh, the one that is uh, the current one would be open. And then, as you saw, I also had open the next month, just so I know what's going on. Um, and then what we have is um, how many tasks is in each one of these projects. And then what are the statuses in that project? So if the project is com complete, then we'd only see done in the statuses. But as you can see, something is on hold in this one. This one, something has been cancelled, which doesn't matter, but then something is ongoing. This one, something is on hold, which means I can't do anything. This one means I have something to do still. And this one says that I'm, I'm working on it. So just to know what the statuses are. And I have how many entries to know how big the project is. Um, and I have it sorted by the biggest project to the smallest project. Um, and then the same goes for the following month. And then the last column basically is a few notes. So sometimes when you look at tables and everything, things are a bit um, overwhelming. So I just have a thing saying, when last have we reviewed the timeline in a meeting? Um, and then I can refer to the notes of that meeting and see see what we said, uh, the progress, how the progress was going. Then I have what the pro what the focus should be on right now and even though there's all these things, this these are the things that the focus should be on so we can move on. That that should be the focus. Then I have next challenge will be, and this is just um, to remind myself of something that I haven't started doing, but I actually it actually is going to be something really, really important. So this will move to the focus should be on very soon whenever these ones are sorted. Um, yeah, and, and for now that's basically it. I'm also working, um, oops, I'll just delete this one. Um, oh, I also have my Gantt chart here in case I need to uh, refer to my original Gantt chart or the reviewed one. Um, I have them there to consult. And then I have my notes here as well. So this was going to be like a PhD dashboard. So these are my last notes from uh, this week. And then I've got it organized by the article and I've got it organized by the molecule as well. So I have an idea of what I've been doing in terms of literature search. Um, 
yeah so this this i'm just starting to work on this now but yeah i thought it would be interesting to to show you this i hope that was helpful and i will see you in i don't know next time <laughs> bye bye enjoy your day